I had always wanted with Voyager to uh, turn the cameras back from the outer solar system and photograph the Earth. It's a single pixel, but I thought that pixel would be worth uh, looking at. And uh, after we passed Neptune, I was able to get these pictures, and there is our planet, a pale blue dot. I look at that world, and, uh, and I think that's where we are. That's where we live. That's where everybody we love, everybody we know, everybody we ever heard of lived out their lives. The aggregate of all our joy and suffering, thousands of confident religions, ideologies, and economic doctrines, every hunter and forager, every hero and coward, every king and peasant, every young couple in love, every hopeful child, every corrupt politician, every revered religious leader, every scientist, every superstar, every supreme leader, all of us, everybody, every saint and sinner in the history of our species lived out our days there on a mote of dust suspended in a sunbeam. To me, it says that the Earth is a very small stage in a vast cosmic arena. I think of the rivers of blood spilled by all those generals and emperors and prime ministers and presidents so that in glory and triumph, they could be the momentary masters of a corner of a pixel. I think of the endless cruelties visited by the inhabitants of one corner of this dot on the scarcely distinguishable inhabitants of another corner of this dot, <clears throat> how frequent their misunderstandings, how eager they are to kill one another, how fervent their hatreds. And it seems to me that our posturings are Imagine self-importance, the delusion that we have some privileged position in the universe, are challenged by this point of pale light. Our planet is a lonely speck in the great enveloping cosmic dark, and in our obscurity and all this vastness, there is no hint that help will come from elsewhere to save us from ourselves. It is sometimes said that astronomy is a uh, humbling and I might add, character-building experience. There's perhaps no better demonstration of the folly of human conceits than this distant image of our tiny world. To me, it underscores our responsibility to deal more kindly with one another and to preserve and cherish the pale blue dot, which is the only home we've ever known.